Hello friends, if you're part of the family, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. For today's video, I'm going to show you yet another recipe video. Today's recipe video is going to be some oatmeal banana pancakes. We love pancakes here at our house, right Nathan? Mm -hmm. And it's something that we usually eat on Saturday mornings. Um, we love pancakes. And I actually uploaded a whole video, um, I'll put a link below, uh, as to how we make our um, pancakes from scratch, okay? Um, recently though, we found out that Nathan here has an intolerance to gluten and that my younger son, the one that's three years old, he um, is dairy free. He has eczema and every time he has a lot of dairy, his eczema kind of flares up. So we've been trying to go gluten free, dairy free for a lot of, well, a lot of, yeah, a lot of our foods. Um, so since we love pancakes, um, we either do it with a gluten free flour, right? Mm -hmm. And we also tried doing like almond flour and coconut flour, but you know what? They don't come out just as yummy as regular pancakes, okay? So um, me going on the hunt on YouTube and on, on my Instagram, Pinterest, I found this recipe uh, for oatmeal banana pancakes and they are so good. I have been eating them. I found out about this recipe maybe like two weeks ago and I've made this so many times and it's delicious. It tastes like banana bread, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, but it is gluten-free and it's dairy-free. Um, it mainly has oatmeal. It has, uh, make sure your oatmeal is gluten-free. Most oatmeals are gluten-free, um, but you have to buy the one that says gluten-free um, because the ones are not labeled gluten-free, even though it's naturally a gluten-free product. A lot of the factories where it's manufactured, um, also manufactured foods are not gluten-free. Um, so that's why they're not certified gluten-free. So just get gluten-free oatmeal. But if you're not gluten-free, who cares? Just get whatever oatmeal you want to use. Um, we also use egg whites, or you can also do egg, actual whole eggs, and banana. And that's about it. So we want to go ahead and show you how we do it. Yeah. Well, there's more little ingredients that I'm going to show you because it, it, it requires baking powder, a little bit of salt. Um, what else? Anyways, sugar. I will show... Sugar, no, no sugar. <laughs> I, I'm gonna teach you how to get them really, really sweet though without using sugar, okay? Yes. Yeah. All right, anyways, I'll stop talking so we can show you guys how we do these delicious oatmeal banana <gasps> pancakes. <laughs> All right guys, so here are the ingredients that you will need to get your uh, pancakes to be super sweet and not use syrup. You have to use bananas that are very, very ripe. I know that people get really picky with their bananas, like where they see this and they're like, no, I don't want to eat it. But this is where the banana is the sweetest. So you do want it to get to the point where there are a lot of like brown spots on it because that's how you're going to get um, that very, very sweet taste. Okay. So we're going to get two of these bananas. I'm going to mix it in a uh, magic bullet that I have. So I'm going to put it in my little container here. I've already put one banana in here and we're going to go ahead and do the other banana really quick. Next thing is we're going to add one cup of um, egg whites, okay? You can either do, is it blurry? Oh my gosh, here you go. One cup of egg whites. You can either do one cup of egg whites or you can do four whole eggs, okay? So we're gonna get, shake it up a little bit. Right. All right, next we're gonna add our oatmeal. So to this, we're going to add one cup of oatmeal. I use a quick cook, the quick cook oatmeal right over here. You can use whatever type you want.
All right, so now we're gonna add some spices, um, make it nice and yummy. We're gonna add some cinnamon, and we're actually gonna do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. We want them to get nice and fluffy, so we're gonna add some baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. And all of these ingredients, guys, will be below, okay? And we'll add a pinch of salt. Small little pinch. So now we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. We're gonna put in a little cap. Those we're gonna do at the end. Don't worry about those yet. Give it a little shake. Watch it blend. All right, so you could do it for about a minute or so just to make sure that everything is mixed in well. Let's see what it looks like. Wow. Right there, yep. So this is totally optional, but let me tell you that if you're not allergic to nuts or walnuts, this adds such a delicious crunch to this, um, mm -hmm. to these pancakes, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna get a few walnuts here. They're already somewhat chopped, but I'm gonna go ahead and chop them a little more. Oh, that's the crunchy part I tasted in the yes. pancake. Yeah, so good. It's so good. All right, so now we're gonna put them into our pancake batter. The best part is when it has a little bit of big pieces because it gives it more crunchy. Yeah, so good. All right, that is what that looks like. Pancakes. So now we're just gonna mix them. Just get them in there. There's no reason for you to put it back in the blender, just with a spoon. Just go ahead and mix it, just like that. All right, so we are ready to start making our pancakes. All right, so here is my skillet. I already turned it on to like a medium, low medium heat. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put some coconut oil so it doesn't stick to the pan. Where's my coconut oil? Did I put it over there? So here it is. So here's some coconut oil I got at Aldi. Um, it's just healthier to use this. It's a better alternative than butter. Or the, um, or the non-stick spray, yeah. yeah. Just a little healthier. Mm. So we're gonna let that Ooh, a, melt a little bit. All right, so here we go. My pan is already warm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just pour in our batter into our skillet. Wow. So we're gonna pour around that size, maybe like the size of your palm, the palm of your hands, like that, right? And we're gonna let them cook for a minute or two on each side, or until you see them forming little bubbles like around the edges and they start looking a little drier, that's when we're gonna flip them. Alright, so let's try to flip them. Ooh. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, that I one's know. created a splatter. Oh, I can tell that one is. It looks brown in the back. <gasps> oh my gosh. Whoa. These look really good. Mine is the splatter everywhere. <laughs> I wonder, like that, they cook faster. I don't know why. To make it still taste really good, they keep the white chunks, they, mm -hmm. they keep the little white chunks. All right, so I think they're ready now. Ooh. That's how you know they're ready. Look at that. Wow, they look so good. They smell so good. We're gonna put them on our plate. And 
and here they are. We're gonna continue making some more. All right guys, so here are my pancakes. Um, so with this batter that I did, I did a total of 12 pancakes um, if you do them the size of your palm, okay? Um, I did one that was way bigger than the size of my palm and for that reason, my very last one was actually really small. But if you measure it like the size of your palm, you'll get a good 12 in. Also, don't forget that if you wanna half this recipe, you totally can because I've done it where I don't wanna eat 12. I just wanna do like six or maybe less. So all I did was just half the recipe, okay? All right, so here we go. This is how I usually dress my pancakes and how we usually do it. Um, I'll cut up some organic strawberries. My mouth is already watering. Mine too. Yes. Let's do one more. I'll add some blueberries. Whoops, one fell on the floor. Thank you. And then I will finish up with a little drizzle of maple syrup, which I have to buy some more. I'm running out. Whoop. All right, so now. We're gonna do our taste test. Let's get pork. I want you guys to see the inside of this pancake. Look how delicious that looks. Look how thick. It's nice and fluffy. So good. good. Nathan, you want some? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mmm. <laughs> Lucia, you want to try some? good right oh my gosh I want to eat this whole thing mm. okay I'll stop all right guys so that's about it that's how we do our banana oatmeal pancakes which are gluten-free and dairy-free don't forget all the ingredients will be listed below so go ahead and scroll down and check those out let me know if you guys go ahead and try these and if you guys have any other cool gluten-free pancake um, recipes that you would want me to try out okay Alright guys, stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It actually means the world to me that you guys actually take the time out of your busy day to watch my videos. I have a few messages for you guys. It won't take long at all, I promise. All right, so number one, um, I accept prayer requests. So if there's anything that you are going through, um, anything that you want prayer over, just go ahead and contact me, either through a comment below, an email, private message, whatever way that you want, um, so I can add you to a prayer list that me and my family have, and we pray for every single day. We have seen the power of prayer in our lives, and we wanna share that with you guys. All right, number two, if you are on Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I go live Monday through Friday and I do a small devotional slash Bible study anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, but it's just something that you guys can listen to throughout the day to get you connected to the Lord and to his word. And lastly, number three, if you are not following me, totally subscribe, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new 
video. I would love for you to join our family. We have so much fun here. I do my best to upload twice a week, usually Tuesdays and Fridays. And I do videos about anything and everything. I do beauty, I do fashion, I do recipes, I do about my life, I do hauls, I do some of my favorite products. Honestly, a little bit of everything where my kids are involved and it's just so much fun. So I would love for you to join our family if you want. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much. Love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.